Hey guys, this is Fat Lutes from Fat Lutes Gold Blog, and welcome to part one of my Trade Skill Master 3 tutorial series where we're going to learn how to make groups. What are groups, you may ask? Well, groups are just groups of items. They're literally just groups. Um, what you can do with these groups is you can assign different operations to them, such as operations to auction them off, to buy certain materials off the auction house, um, to mail them to a certain character, to put them in certain banks, just manage your inventory, all sorts of things. But basically the groups are the core and today we're going to talk about a couple ways of setting up groups. So the first and most easy way to set up groups is have Trade Skill Master do it for you. So you open up Enchanting and this is the default Trade Skill Master window. Um, you, you can go to TSM groups and hit right down here create profession groups and you'll see the little window here created profession group for enchanting thank you trade skill master I really appreciate you making a group for me so type slash TSM to open the trade skill master window and go to groups professions you'll notice you now have a professions group this wasn't here before I didn't show you that click that Click the, plus, bleh, click the plus sign to expand. Go to enchanting, click the plus sign to expand. So you have two things. So we have enchanting here. So this is everything that is involved with enchanting whatsoever. Hey, there's not that much. I mean, there is a lot. But there's your things that are involved with enchanting. Here's all of your crafts. So these are all the things you can craft your tune, you just scan, can craft with enchanting. Like the stupid wand and materials. Now, we may be thinking, you know, I don't really like that my wands are included here. <laughs> I never want to apply rules to those because they're silly and, and I shouldn't make them ever. So what you can do, go to management and create a subgroup. Now a subgroup, you can apply specific rules to a subgroup of items. So in this, I'm just going to name it straight and chance or just enchanting scrolls let's be like nice and specific and to add the items I'm just gonna say anything with the word enchant in it can be added so you filter up here type in part of the word and hit add now so all these are added over here Oh, there's a couple things here that I don't want click those remove so now our subgroup items are just these enchants pretty straightforward right now you can further refine this by only doing ones that are, you know, this expansion, etc., etc. But that's that's it for now. So how else can you create groups? Well, I could just go up here to the group tab and make my own group. Now let's see what I have in my bags. I have a nether weave bag here for purpose of illustration only. Um, normally, what I would do is I would set up a tailoring group and Nether Weave Bag would be part of it, but just for purposes, Nether Weave Bags Only Group. You can name it whatever you want. It could be as stupid as you feel like. Just notice I cannot read it because my screen's too small. And I can't widen it. Oh, maybe I could do it here. There we go. Look at that. Nether Weave Bags Only. So, since there's a rule for this group, I'm going to follow it and just add another weave bag. Pretty straightforward. The other way you can create a group, the last and final way you can create a group of items, is steal somebody else's group. Somebody else's hard work, they post it on the internet. Um, you can find a lot of different ways, um, say people set up their enchanting, uh, or their mining, or anything basically their subgroup structure, such as maybe they put all the Warlords of Draenor or Legion, if you're watching this in the future, um, enchantments into one group, so you don't have to filter them out one by one and do it yourself. Um, and yes, they're out there. So find those. Um, just Google it. Um, what I'm going to import is my transmog list, world famous, world of Warcraft. So you make a new group, call it Transmog. You make a new group by clicking the Groups button. That'll make a base group here. Hit OK. Now I'm in the Transmog. Now I've been in the Items tab up here. The default, I guess. Um, there's Operations. So these are the rules we're going to add to each group. Auctioning, crafting, mailing, shopping, vendoring, vendoring. That's one I didn't include. And warehousing. Warehousing is inventory management, more or less. Um, 
items tab. That's what we've been using. And import export. Oh boy. So I'll paste the import string you stole from Fat's website. Boom. Hit OK. And it gives you a little window over here. Successfully imported 1,743 items at Transmog. It's Transmog, and I have all these subgroups. Now, by the time you're watching this, hopefully these subgroups have changed, but this is the, the, <laughs> the list as it is now. Uh, again, if you want to do management, add a new subgroup. You could create one here. You could rename the group or move the group to... Maybe I want to move it under enchanting because I'm crazy. Okay, so now transmog is under enchanting. It doesn't really make sense. So I'm going to go back to management and change it to another weave bags only because that makes more sense. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you kind of got a, a handle on how to make groups. Pretty straightforward. And in the next few videos, we're going to be going over how to apply operations to these groups and make them super useful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest gold making and trade skill master videos. And if you're interested in more in-depth gold making discussion, be sure to check out the consortium forums which are linked below. Till next time guys, cheers.